What up? Happy 420, y'all. I think it's 420. Yep. There's a killer band playing across the street from me at the uh, little courtyard over there. Reggae band. They have them every year. Heard last year. Was, I heard them last year as I was going to the grocery store after they're out. And then this year, I got, you know, I could have gone over there, but I had to pack the truck. I had work to do. I couldn't go over to the Chiba Hut and chill out and listen to the bands, man. So I think they're pretty good, too. Good reggae music from out of town, man. But got my after route seltzer water here. What do we have here? We got the Four Patriots Solar Go Fridge. So let's uh let's take a look, shall we? I call it a cooler because I mean, well, let's just see how big it is, man. You know, see what we got here. First thing is. I had to haul this out of out of the other dude's truck this morning. That was hard as shit, man. All the trucks are parked together. This was me worming. This is like 50 pounds plus this. And I was like, I had to get it between the trucks and the in the hangar. But uh, the dude would have been bummed if he had to deal with this thing all day. So I went ahead and got my truck sorted out. Then I waited for this thing to show up at his truck and just pulled it off for him. So I think he was pretty happy about that. He didn't have to deal with this big bastard. So, um, so the deal with these, I mean, I was just watching videos the other day and the commercial for this popped up and I was, I was hooked. You know, I had to get it. So basically what I fight when I go to races out of town, since I don't have a trailer or anything, is ice. <laughs> that is my main battle, is ice. Everything else is fine. Like, everything else is totally cool. It's just ice. The whole battle with ice and keeping shit cold. So, um, alright. This bad boy was about 900 bucks, maybe a little more. So, I opted for the, um like f four payments of like $247, something like that. I just didn't want to do the whole clip at once. Man, I was just sitting there watching videos and this commercial came on for this thing, dude. And I swear to God, man, the computers are reading our minds nowadays. They're reading our minds. They just know what commercials to pop up on your screen, you know? So, um, so this is, they call it a fridge, yada yada. Um, it can be powered by a normal cord. It can be powered by solar and it's got batteries. So, I mean, with that being said, man, if this gets me out of the old, have to go get ice every night, you know, when I'm out there camping in hot fields in the summertime in Southern Washington, I'll take it. It's it's worth it's probably worth it, you know. If you're not water bombing your stuff. Also, man, I hate leaving the race. It sucks. I'm just one guy. I should be able to bring enough food to just stay there. Um and uh also, man, going to those small, like, mini-marts at, like, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night on, like, a Friday or a Saturday in some town that you're not from, you just don't want to do it, man, just to get ice. It's such a pain in the ass. So, all right. Let's see here. Oh, man. Let's read this red paper first. Okay, refrigerant needs to settle before use. Set upright for eight hours before charging or using it. Okay, that's fine. So, um, that's what I'll do, and I'll be able to take this to Madras with me. I mean, that's another place where I fight having ice when I go out to Brits. You know, I'm out in the shop for two days straight. Um, and yeah, I actually bought like a little portable ice maker. It just doesn't work. 
you have to like empty it every like 10 minutes and then I'm out at the track. It's just the portable ice maker doesn't work. Tried it, you know. So man, I'm pretty excited about this. Golly, how to get it out of here. Oh, dude. Um. All right, they teach me how to lift at work. Legs, legs, back straight. Oh, it's not that heavy now. It's really not that heavy. It's not that bad. Keep it back straight. Okay. This is a freaking burler box, man. Oh. Sorry. All right. I think we're back. There's another box here too. All right. So here's a battery. Okay, let's take the plastic off. that off has one of these you know oh man I'm fucking loving this thing already dude sick so killer so killer man I'm loving it all right let's see what's in the other box here let's see the other box is 12 pounds. I thought the batteries would be in here, but maybe, I don't know. Oh, this is like um, extra shit. Yeah. You get a bunch of free gifts. I got 72 hours survival food kit. I got survival cocoa. You get a multi-use flashlight. A flexible arc lighter. Arc lighter. This, this would be good shit for my cabin down in Christmas Valley. Oh man. That's another reason where this thing is gonna win. I fight ice at Christmas Valley. I have to drive back to that fucking store where something always happens to me. Every time I go into that store, it's hot, dude. Every single time. Um, if I could just drive down to Christmas Valley to my cabin and not even have to go to that store. Oh, money. Money. What we got here oh this is like a uh, this is a little camp stove I'll leave this in here shit this could actually be good well get a little camp stove survival coffee and um, 40 watt solar panel so um, I was watching a couple videos on this and he was mentioning that this thing kind of powers it off the sun, which is cool. But with the batteries in there, the charging, it kind of does everything like halfway. So um, I'll try this thing out, but um, whether I'm down at Christmas Valley, um, I have uh, you know generators and stuff so I could just leave it plugged in or run it off the battery and when I'm up at races there's usually power there so between battery and being able to just plug it in right I don't see any plug anywhere 
Um, should be good. 40 watt solar panel. Uh, that's it. Um, well, it's just a list of gifts. I was kind of looking for a manual of some sort. Okay, it's all in here. Here's our cord. Yeah, man, lots of space in there, you know? I could get easily enough stuff in there for a few days, for sure. I mean, I, I, when I'm at races, I'm, out, I'm outside for three days and it's, it's totally fine. I don't, I don't really want uh, to worry about like a camper that has to be serviced and has water and shit. I just, I don't want it. Um, you know, if I could just put everything in the truck. But man, I'm excited. Not having to get ice, man. Okay, so it looks like um, this is like, can go into the, uh, I could have the unit be charging pretty much on the seat. This will fit right on the front seat. And I could plug this into the cigarette lighter. And here's like a normal power cord. Okay. Um, so yeah, I can't go uh, plugging this thing in yet. This looks like a uh, it's like another uh, AC adapter. Okay. What's this? like the same thing. I'm all packed up for um, to head out to, to Madras. And uh, I'm gonna run eighth scale for two days straight, man. Two days straight. So here's another adapter. Um I guess time will tell, all right, on um, how this thing treats me. Um, I'm told you can even freeze stuff in here too. So, yeah, just a uh, little uh, little survival cooler, I guess. Porta fridge. It's a refrigerator. Looks like a cooler, but it should act as a refrigerator. Anyway, all right. I guess I'll just keep this short. I got other stuff to do and just, I'm just excited. Um, I'm gonna um, just head out to Madras and start that training, man. My first race will be uh, up in Spokane, Washington. At the, it kind of towards the end of May, the uh, NCT, the second round of the North, Northwest Championship Tour. Spokane is about a little over six hours. It's it's a good hour and a half farther than the than the ones that I usually go to, but since I missed round one, I said I'm just gonna go to Spokane. So it's gonna be a long trip. I'm thinking about just bringing one nitro buggy and just running two nitro buggy classes. Actually, by um, running, uh, I figure with running just nitro, I won't have to set up a charging table and. Yeah, just it's actually a way to just keep the gear at a super minimum, you know, just one car, extra shit for the nitro buggy, and just do sportsman and 40 plus nitro buggy, and just mostly just the drive to get there is going to be gnarly. I'm going to have to run my route, then basically, you know, drive all night to get there, six hours, and getting back won't be too bad. My lower mains will be done early. I'll be able to bounce. But, um, so, you know, it'll be great to just be able to jam up there, have a bunch of food in there and just not worry about stopping at little stores to get ice and 
bullshit. All right. My name's Craig. Hi, Desert Agro RC. New addition to the race gear. Let's get camping. Let's get racing. All right. Everybody have a great night. <laughs>